This is supposed to be the off season for guys like you, but you've been very busy. You signed Justin Jefferson. And, uh, you know, I, I, I got a million things to ask you. I, I want to go back to Sam Darnold. So I always predict how the quarterbacks are going to do. I love Darnold out of college. I loved him. People remind me all the time that he's not as good as I said. But Kyle liked him, and you like him. So I trust smart guys. What do you see with Sam that hasn't necessarily always worked in terms of winning in the NFL? What do you see as a guy who played the position and coaches it? Yeah, I think, uh, Colin, you weren't, you know, as far as talent goes, as far as ability, um, Sam Darnold coming out uh, had everything that you look for. And, uh, you know, a quarterback you're willing to invest a, a first round pick in and, uh, look, we all have different quarterback journeys, and, and I joke about this. I use that term very loosely for myself, but uh, we all have different paths we go, different situations, um, you know, what type of mentality you have in that moment to execute the offense that you're in. What is that offense asking you to do um, to attempt to try to go win football games? And I think that, you know, when we're getting Sam is, is as important as getting Sam himself. I think he's in a great place. In his career, I think he uh, really did some things, even last year in a lit limited amount of time. But he really benefited from uh, from Kyle and Brian Greasy and and playing, uh, you know, in a quarterback room with Brock Purdy and watching, um, you know, a guy execute an offense at a really high level and then getting a chance, limited, but getting a chance to, uh, you know, execute that offense himself. I think he's matured a ton. Uh, he understands, you know, exactly who he is as a quarterback and. And uh, when we went to, to try to get Sam to come to Minnesota, him and I had uh, some great dialogue about uh, my feelings towards Sam and, and his excitement about joining our team, a lot of which has to do with playing with some of the teammates he's going to get to play with. And Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson, Aaron Jones, and Ty Chandler. We've got a, a continuity along the offensive line. And, and oh, by the way, we're challenged by, you know, a really, really good defense in practice every day that's only gotten better with some of the additions that we've made. Um, so I'm looking for Sam to continue what he's done this spring, which is he's, he's had a great spring, um, but ultimately it's going to be about training camp and preparing uh, to, to be the quarterback uh, of our, of our team. And, and uh, can he stack some days together and, and build confidence, not only in himself, but uh, through his teammates, watching him go to work every day and tirelessly prepared to, to be at his best. I think that's just, a great soundbite and a great answer and of course highly accurate um i'm with colin on this one we both seem to be one of the only few people out there that seem to still think that sam darnold is a good quarterback i get it sam darnold is not this elite next tom brady he may have been drafted too high it's just too hard to know considering where he played i mean if you're judging a quarterback based on how they performed with the jets and with the carolina panthers it's like, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, those organizations have done nothing for years and years and years and years. Cam Newton only had one win, you know, only had, they never had a back-to-back -back winning season. And you only had really only that one truly successful season uh, when they obviously went to the Super Bowl. So, and that was with a completely different regime at that point. But it's just, I, I just, I Sam Darnold has what it takes to be a good quarterback in the NFL, right? He has the hardwire, the hardwire, like he, the hardware, he, he has that. And I think that's very clear to me. He, he has what you need. There's a reason why Shanahan went out and got Sam Darnold, especially when Brock Purdy's um, was up in the air. Shanahan knows how good that roster is. Shanahan knows that he is a quarterback away from winning the Super Bowl. He understands that. And so when Purdy went down, he was not just like, oh, well, let's just get any quarterback. Like he was like, I need to get a quarterback that I know can put us in a position to win. And of course, Purdy beat it out, which made sense because you definitely also want that continuity and Purdy is a good quarterback. But it was just like, that is a clear, calculated decision by Shanahan. It was not just a, a little whatever situation. And having the Minnesota Vikings pay $10 million for Sam Darnold, that's more money than many, many starters around the NFL, right? So it's it just they didn't pay that money just because they thought, nah, we just got to pay him money for no sake of it, or we're just going to pay him $10 million just to have him be the third string quarterback, or we're going to cut him. Like, you know, like that's not how it works. So clearly, 
the Minnesota Vikings evaluate Sam Darnold to be good. And of course, Kevin O'Connell does. And the truth is, I think Kevin O'Connell is the type of offensive mind where, and especially from a quarterback perspective, every quarterback will play better with Kevin O'Connell. Outside of them coming from maybe like an Andy Reid, Shanahan, McVay, right? And then I think it's more of like a lateral move um, rather than like a vertical. And I just think that Sam Darnold is clearly going to be in the best position to succeed. And in the limited time that he had with Shanahan and the 49ers, he played pretty well. I know the numbers don't pop off the screen, but you actually have to watch the games, watch the tape. Even a game that was spiraling out of control against the Ravens with an elite offense, a defense, he still played pretty good, right? And I and with anyone he played against, what was it, the Rams? He didn't have the Avengers, right? He didn't get to have all the starters with him. I don't think Christian McCaffrey played or any of those guys played or Debo. So like that, all that stuff matters. And yet he was still able to kind of hang around. Same thing with Carson Wentz. That's the exact reason why Andy Reid went out and got Carson Wentz. Andy Reid's no clown. Andy Reid's no scrub. He knows exactly what he's getting in Carson Wentz. And he sees that Carson Wentz is actually still a good quarterback. And dare I say, even has the potential to be a great quarterback. But I think Carson Wentz has been misaligned largely, but we won't make this about Carson Wentz. And I think it's just a similar thing with Sam Darnold. Although Carson Wentz had a more concrete success because he obviously helped get the Eagles to win the Super Bowl, played unbelievable, had an MVP caliber season. I think he should have won the MVP, um, but there is no Super Bowl for the Eagles without Carson Wentz. That's that's indisputable. Um, and Sam Darnold has just not had that opportunity to play on a great enough team outside of the 49ers, but that was clearly in a backup role. So we know we've seen Baker Mayfield play awful with the Carolina Panthers, the Browns, and then get thrown to the uh, to the Rams and then suddenly be good enough to now get a 30 to 45, $40 million contract with Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So we know where you go matters, who your coach matters, who the personnel around you matters. Some players are more reliant on the coaches around them, are more reliant on the team around them. And that's okay, right? There's some other quarterbacks that can do better with nothing. They can do more with less. That may not be who Sam Darnold is, but Sam Darnold could prove to be a really darn good quarterback when he does have the coaching in place, when he does have the players in place, when he does have the stability, the positive environment. That's something that I think is so great about the Minnesota Vikings is the fact that they take such pains to make it a very positive growth oriented building up environment which is like the opposite of what new york is all about so that's where i think sam darnold is also in a in a position to flourish and i think it's going to benefit jj mccarthy tremendously because now jj gets to learn and grow and take his time there's no rush to get him out on the field because yes jj mccarthy is the future for the minnesota vikings but there's no reason to just put him out there right away McCarthy needs to be developed. And again, when you have someone like Kevin O'Connell to be able to develop you, having a year, a season off, a year off is amazing. You get to have a brilliant offensive mind get to teach you in an environment where there is zero pressure, where you're not forced to get out on the field, make mistakes, get banged up. You get to just learn and grow, which I'm going to talk about um, in the next video. Um, when I assume Colin will ask him about, uh, you know, J.J. McCarthy and, and what the what those expectations are. But I just wanted to keep this one specifically about Sam Darnold because I want the Vikings fans to get excited, to think like, listen, they can make they can do some damage. They can win some games with Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold is not just some random afterthought. He's not some bootleg placeholder for J.J. McCarthy. He is a quarterback that could potentially really surprise a lot of people. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about Sam Darnold, Kevin O'Connell, and the Minnesota Vikings? Do you think they can actually make some moves this season? Do you think uh, the NFL is kind of uh, overlooking them a little bit? And can they maybe be a dark horse to make some moves and, dare I say, even make the playoffs? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.